Prepare your actors and welcome to day three of the long dark, the story mode. Now, I actually recorded some footage and I realized I was doing this quest wrong. I was making sure like I was waiting not one hour, one hour at a time. But now I think I figured it out. Now I think I figured it out. I think we need to get enough for one of these fires to last for uh, nine hours. Yeah, seems simple. I was doing it one hour at a time. Wasn't working. Okay, let's accelerate this because I ain't got no time for that. It worked. Yeah, it works. Okay, let's put some heat on that stick. Okay, let's put all the sticks. Yeah. See, you see this uh, icon here, the uh, the flame? I, uh, I kind of thought that would indicate like you had the maximum. Like when it got to the top, you can go longer. But that's not the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Okay. Let's do one hour past time. We need to get heated up. And then we're going to go and get tons of wood. Uh, we have water, yes. Yes, we have, we have some water. Let's make a little bit more water, actually. Melt some snow. Should be good, should be good. Melt the snow, and then we're going to purify the snow, yes. We got this in the bottle. Lovely. Let's see here. Purifying water. Okay, let's drink some water and then it should be good. Should be good to go out in the wilderness. I mean, I'm used to be out in the in the wilderness that is London. Bunch of crazy primates running and walking around. Almost getting hit by these moving vehicles. It's crazy, man. Crazy. Okay, we're going to get Another pastime. Ugh. Okay. This should be good. It's funny how this burnt out firewood, you can't reclaim it. Well, I guess... Okay, anyways. Okay, one hour. Let's, let's rush out and get... get the branch here. Oh, sound like some wolves. <laughs> Sound like some wolves in the distance. Get some sticks. Get some branches. And we need to go... Okay, we... We, uh, we need to get the good wood. We need to get the good wood. Here's the good wood. Yes. Breaking down these crates. It's gonna be great. Breaking down all the crates. Reclaim wood, it's really good. Cedar wood. Cedar firewood, that's the best. Rose hips, we can't get that yet. So cold. Yeah, it's books, anything. Newspapers. All this good stuff. Let's break it all down. Let's break it down. Break it down to, to the funky town. <laughs> or whatever. Okay, we got... Okay, I'm disoriented now, okay. Okay, let's break this down. Hopefully it will go... Smoothly enough. And now we should be good to... Uh, okay, let's do this one. We're losing health crazy fast. But should be should be good enough. Uh, okay, another branch. Another branch. More birch. Okay, let's go back now. Another stick. This should be enough. Hopefully. Hopefully it will. Not too fussed about everything else. Like the, like, um, food. Come on. Is this gonna be enough? Fire looks good. Yeah! yeah to warm up before I freeze to death. Yes, we did it! <laughs> I used, like, over 25 minutes last time. Wait. And then we rest then? Oh, okay. Just gotta get our body temperature up. That's cool. If I knew that it, was, it was this easy. Cause I, <laughs> I actually survived like a whole day. Not just a night. And that was a waste of time. <laughs> so I wanted to record it again. And now it's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. 
It's going to be lovely. Got to just fight on way all the way, fight on fight on the way all the way. Okay, we need to speed this up. Oh, nice. Woohoo. Great. Day 3 only took 5 minutes <laughs> instead of 25 minutes of me just talking to the fire all alone. Nice. Okay, don't stand in the fire at least. Cool. I thought the game was bugged out, but it was just changing to a new day. It's a whole new day. Let's take a let's take a torch and try to find some food. Crows. Your ears are your best survival tool. Pay attention to your surroundings and you might glean information that's important for your survival. For example, a murder crow circling up ahead might suggest an animal carcass or even a human corpse might be nearby. What? We're gonna eat human corpse? Something to eat. I never had no humane corpse. But I doubt it's gonna be human. Okay, where's the crows? Cross the street. Oh, I see the deer. I see the deer in the distance. He shall give us substance to get through the night. Cool. Ooh. Hey. What did you do? <laughs> I'm not controlling this. It's doing it by itself. 913. Locked. You don't know Astrid's code? Oh, more story. Nice. I was hoping there would be more story stuff, cutscene stuff. Oh, he's passing time. I've done that. Jackrabbit Remote Transport. Mackenzie speaking. What? There's no one on the line, or...? Whoa. Whoa, slow down, Morgan. What are you talking about? Maybe they should add just like some... Some like indication someone's talking. It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Zombies! <laughs> uh. Hello, Will. It's Astrid. Wh what are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since. I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well, what brings you? I mean, his nose is always red. Are you sick? <laughs> no, no, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor. <laughs> Once a doctor, still always still a doctor. doctor. I thought that what after. Kind of question is that? <laughs> Why are you here? Oh, something happened. I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad, but it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? 
Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. Hmm. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. <laughs> Rougher than you think. Okay, so they have some history. It's pretty good, actually. It's not too, not too bad. I like the stories. When you go into the characters, and you get to know them more, and there's like this mysterious thing. Aspen was ready to die for it. I hope she hasn't already died for it. No, it's just... No, she'll, she'll probably be fine. We can't, what, we can't take the backpack? There's probably good contents inside of it. Torch. Uh, okay. Let's take... Ooh. Nice. Clothing. Clothing is armor against cold. Obvious. Out in the wilderness, clothing is like armor against the elements. Wear layers to stay warm and remember, when is your enemy? Clothing offers different protection from cold and wind chill. Your clothes can get wet from blowing snow or if fall, if you fall into water, which makes them ineffective and increases your health of hypothermia or even frostbite. Keep your clothes as dry as you can. Finally, clothing can protect you from physical injuries, from falling, tangling with wildlife. Balance all these factors against the weight and mobility cost of your combining clothing. All right. Nice. That's good. Rose hips. What? You can climb this. Ah, oh, nice. But we need this. this, car, this could save my life. this doesn't look what are you doing? <laughs> do yeah. Meat. Take all the meat. Harvest it. Harvest that goodness. Do we have to go back now and uh, cook it? I think so. Raw meat. Everything you eat can kill you. When starving, you may feel desperate enough to take your chance. But in general, eating raw meat is a bad idea. Cook it over a fire to avoid getting food poisoning or parasites. Cooked meat also lasts longer and attracts fewer predators. Oh, that hurts so okay. much. We're going to go back um, to our trusty fire. Or we could make one outside. But I think it's safer to go to the one that's already lit. We got some firewood. We got some meat. We're gonna cook it up. It's gotta be nice. Oh, what is this? I've never felt so cold in my life. Let's take this. Lose some more health. Why don't we? Why don't we? Reclaimed wood. That's all we got. What? The food kit? No, the... <laughs> the um, first aid kit? Didn't replenish? All right, let's cook some good stuff. What's cooking good? Looking some steak. I'm a cooking, hooking. Mm, love that sound. <laughs> let's cook all of it. Let's cook all of it. Let's eat all of it. Let's put our bellies filled with meat. Let's bring it with us. Should be good. Should be good. Okay. Loving this. Best time of my life. What is he? What is he cooking it on? <laughs> Just holding it while cooking it. It it takes longer to melt snow. <laughs> snow <laughs> takes longer to melt than to cook a steak. Okay. At least I got the priorities straight. Uh huh. So let's melt some snow. Well, maybe it's the same time. Maybe. Maybe the steak and the snow is taking the same amount of time. Um, what if we melt more than that? And then we purify all of it. Are we wasting uh, stuff? Um, wasting tablets? You can only do one liter at a time. So we weren't wasting stuff. Yeah, love all these sound effects. It adds that nice realness to the stuff that you are doing. Okay. So we got the meat. Let's eat the meat. 100%. 880 calories. That's like almost half a uh, full day worth of calories. Let's drink the water. And we should be good 
to head on out further into the wilderness, try to find that, that village that I was hearing so much about. This is village in the distance. Okay, so what do we need to do now? See if you're strong enough to climb out of the ravine. Explore the ravine. You need food to survive. Scavenge what you can and eat until you're full. Okay, I guess we're going to eat. Even more. Let's eat everything then. Just get our stomachs good all full and up, 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 up and full. Yes? You need food to survive until you're full. Okay, we're full. We're all good, right? Nice. Can we run? No, we cannot. <laughs> we still cannot run. But we will still have the fun. We can still walk. Walking is fun. Walking is good. Just take your time. Have a nice stroll. In this nice winter range here. I prefer the winter over the summer. As I stated in the previous episode. <laughs> it is what I like. Uh, it's uh, To me it's easier to become warm. Uh, you just put on layers. Whoa. That was stupid. What was that? Mother Nature's painkiller. Sometimes Mother Nature is your pharmacist. Craft rose hips into preparation that can be boiled into water and produce a tea. Pain relieving. Keep your eyes open for natural remedies. Okay. You could have just told that sooner until we had to just break ourselves. Wow. So we gotta go cook this. Cool. Break this down. Nice. Okay, let's go back to the cave. And then I think we're gonna end that episode there. That should be good. The torch. We don't need the torch. Okay, let's get back here. Ah, he's limping. I almost didn't get back up again. Okay, let's get back. Gotta hurry, hurry, hurry. Gotta hurry back to the cave here. Should be good. <laughs> should be good. I don't know why I said that. It should be good to have some wood. To go to the cave and feel safe. I don't know. Cave and safe doesn't rhyme, but at least I tried. At least I tried, 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 tried. Okay, so we got we got to this place here. Let's boil the rose hips. Hopefully our good old camera here has enough battery. If not whatever's okay we got that good stuff going uh drink no food no first aid no so how do we cook the stuff is this here boil water boil how do we add the thing again? There's like so much stuff I need to learn about this game. And uh, I don't seem to understand all of it. Okay, let's go to our backpack. See if we can find... Oh, here it is. Rose hip. To make a tea that helps manage pain. But how do we make the tea? What does the journal say? Collect rose hips and make rose hip tea. How do we make the tea? Water potable. I don't get it. How do we make the tea? How do we make the tea? Okay, I don't know. Maybe we need more rose hips. Rose hips. I thought I saw some outside here. I don't know. It doesn't say how to make it. I'll just go gather these. Can we make the tea in plastic? Okay. But how do we make the tea? We should have enough. I don't need to do this, probably. So how do we make it? I tried all the dials, the red dial dials. Red dial dials. But we need to cook it in the tea. Damn, that's smart. I, ha I haven't heard that <laughs> expression before. Damn, that's smart. 
Okay, so. Uh, no, we can't use anything here. No food. Water? No, we have water. You boil it. I don't believe you. Drink. Weapons. Navigation. First aid. Antibiotics. Antiseptic. There's something I'm missing here, right? There's something I'm missing. Alright, I'll figure this out and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm running out of time here and I don't have a lot of time today. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.